Hey guys, today I'm going to disclose some of the conversations. I'm not going to name names or stores because that would be bad and I'm not going to do that. But I had some conversation with a lot of people getting out of Magic. The number one reason that these store owners have said they want to leave is because, well, this is what they tell me, right? That the Magic community has become very toxic and they don't want to be nickel and dimed forever. And that is the number one reason that these stores are leaving. Uh, according to all these stores, again, take it with a grain of salt, they're, going, they're trying to sell me inventory. The whole purpose of us talking, us chatting, is they want to sell me their magic inventory, all of it. So I've had uh, inventory quotes from, no, different people from $120,000 for the entire inventory. I've had quotes for $5,000 in my smaller store. And I have people who even would drive from you know really far away to just you know stock my store, which is much smaller. I most people's stores are much bigger than mine, uh, given my location in Houston. I couldn't really, I didn't really want to have. I don't need game space, so why would I pay extra for that when I don't want people to actually come in and play Magic? Um, I just want to be a Magic online seller, which a lot of people are now, and a lot of these stores that go bankrupt are or leaving the physical retail space, they just open a website or already have a website. And it's kind of ironic because when they were physical stores, I know, I mean, I follow these stores, uh, they were heavily promoting that, hey, we're a local game store, come in and play. Now they are on the other side of the table where they say, okay, no, don't buy from the local game store, buy from me, your online vendor. So. Yeah, the offer I'm getting is always the same. It is always the same. It's $70 a box, a sealed box of just Born of the Gods, Pharaohs, Hour of Devastation. Uh, they're buying boxes from $74 to $76 to $78 a box. Therefore, the $70 a box is actually not attractive because I don't know how Dave and Adams is doing it, but these boxes are under 70. The recent in standard boxes are for the large part under 70 after a while and you can get really good deals you can get discounts on top of that really good price so i'm not sure why people keep telling me 70 70 70 when online is just cheaper so like why would i buy from you when i can get it cheaper online when i'm starting my own store so the one thing i have is i have flexibility i have flexibility and i have capital and i guess i also have employees not every store has employees so at the end of the day, like it's insane to me that like they're they're trying to get out of magic, yet they can't take, they can't rationalize going under seven dollars a box. Now a lot of these people have, they have said, hey, I'll throw in you the iconic masters for you know this price if you buy all my boxes at seventy. But the math still doesn't work out. I can, I've talked to seven stores. Out of these seven stores, six of them gave me prices that I took to David Adams and I found that David Adams was cheaper when I emailed that one dude who gives you the 5% discount. So that's a problem, right? It's a problem that if you wanna, you're bankrupting or you're getting out magic and you're not willing to compete against an online vendor because the online vendor is honestly a lot cheaper than you are, then you were never competing in the first place when you were in business. You were destined to fail. You know, think about it for a moment. If an online vendor is selling a box for 60, they are selling a box for 100, and then when they bankrupt, they want to sell the box for 70, or if they want, quote, want to get out of Magic because of the, quote, toxic community. Why would I buy the box at 70 when I can buy the online vendor as many as I wanted or as few as I wanted, right? Why would I need to commit to buy, like, let's say, 400 boxes at 70, when I can buy from an online vendor at 60 and buy as many or as little as I want from that specific box. It's a really hard business. Like I, I don't know what else to tell you guys except it. I have done a lot of homework recently, more homework in the last two weeks for two, a month when I knew I was going to set up a shop. I magic in like probably two years of MTG Finance and I don't know how these places make money from magic. They must be making, or I don't know. 
So I, I, I know how they make money. They charge, they sell the box for $100, right? And that's how they make money. Because they buy the box in 78, they sell it for 100. Yes, you have to employ time, overhead, etc. But they're selling for 100. The problem is they no longer can sell it for 100. Iconic Masters is in every Walmart, every Target now. Probably roll out to Walgreens and Target and Walmart now have exclusive products to them and will only get more exclusives in the future, I imagine. People, I mean, people are not happy. People are not gonna buy from a store no matter how they, much they love the store. They could love that store to death, but that doesn't mean they're gonna spend $100 on a box when they can get online for 70. They could love that store to death, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna buy Iconic Masters from Walmart. It's sad, but I mean, it's the reality of uh, MTG and I, I obviously, the reason I need to know it is because I need to avoid it, right? I need to avoid a scenario where we're selling boxes for 70, losing money and still not competitive. Anyway, bye guys.